I'm Vance, Vance Burberry. I'm a director of photography. I've been that way, I have been for like 30 years. Um, you know, I started out as a concert lighting designer. Well, actually really before that, a theatrical, you know, lighting, lighting guy. I got into concerts, came here with an excess there, LD in 1984. Kind of fell into the film business kind of by accident, got hired on a set one day as a extra electrician and, and wow, this is cool. And, you know, having a love of lighting, which is uh, lighting an image, it was sort of a natural progression and sort of at that time music video was falling into um, this sort of heavy metal era and having this big lighting design background, film people didn't know anything about that stuff, so I kind of jumped into that and, and you know, I pretty a couple of years later I started shooting stuff. There's two parts to this craft, in my opinion, as a cinematographer. There is the craft, if you like. It's where we deal with technology, we deal with the physics of, of exposure, the media, whether it be film, digital. Uh, you're dealing with the logistics of a set, you've got running crew, you know, dealing with production. There's all that side of it, which you have to know and understand. But at the end of the day, being a cinematographer for me, and lighting, and the image, it's an emotional connection. We're trying to convey emotion. If you're telling a story, a movie, you need to light from your heart, not from your head. And you need to create the image from your heart, not from your head, because you're trying to convey that emotional connection to an audience. You know, whether it's sad, happy, scary, whatever that joy, whatever it is, that's what you're trying to convey, and you need to take people out of the world they're in and bring them into this world of the story you're telling, visual story, whatever that may be. So being able to let go of the technical sometimes and just follow your heart and trust your heart, usually that will convey to your audience. And that applies to anything, whether, you're, whether it's light, the way the camera moves, the, the way you apply filters, which is always a, another wonderful tool to do it in camera. It's interesting to say a lot of people will say, oh, no, we can do that in telecine. Well, yeah, you can. But when you're sitting with an actor telling a story, if you're on a film, or even a commercial, or even a music video, whatever it may be, whatever you can apply to the image in camera, I believe is what you should do because you're in that emotional space at that time, connected to the story you're, and all the image you're creating. So one of the things, you know, we've been talking about the image and the capture on set, one of the things I really like to play with is grad filters. Now, you know, sometimes it's just as simple as, you know, you, you know, you've got a hot sky, you need to bring the sky down, or you're out in the desert and the image is backlit and you're, the desert, the light desert sand, the light kicks off, it gets too hot. So I need to bring that down a couple of stops. Okay, you'll drop a grad in, bring that down a couple of stops. And ah, you know what? The desert's looking a little pale. I like to warm it up. I'm gonna drop a tobacco grad in the bottom as well. And then you're gonna, you can actually start to manipulate the image with filters. And I think a great example is Ridley Scott's The Duelist, where he's putting in, you know, like a 1.2 ND, 45 degrees through the frame on one side, and then he's got another one, uh, maybe a colored grad kicking in the bottom in the other corner. Those are all wonderful ways of, um, of you know, manipulating an image in camera. I mean, you need to be prudent with that. You don't just do it for the sake of it, but if it's emotionally correct to do so, and if it brings the image to life and helps tell the story, then it's a lot of fun to play with.